angels, how are you? Um, I thought I would do something different for the month of May. Um, for April, all of the like tarot challenges, daily draws, that sort of thing I did, I just made a post on my blog. And I'm still going to do that, but I'm also going to do a video. Just a quick video to go through it. Um, we'll see how this goes. So, there's a lot of challenges for me. Um, I'm actually doing three of them, but one doesn't start until the eighth. So, as of now, I'm doing two. The first one um, is hosted by The Whimsical Arcane. Uh, and she has a website. It's thewhimsicalarcane.com. Um, and the way she set it up is every day for me, there is a word. And then you choose a card and how does that card apply to that word so today for may 1st the word was power and i drew the nine of chalices from the epic tarot this may have a little bit of a different meaning than the traditional nine of cups if you look at this card you can see this man looks thirsty obviously He's trying to get every last drop out of that chalice. Uh, and that is what the Nine of Chalices is about. It is about um, even when you think um, that you can't go on, the chalice has just enough to get you through. So to me, that's a powerful message to, to help you through difficult and dark times. And that's where the power comes into play. It's a powerful message. All right, next, um, Jesse Huntenberg, who has a YouTube channel, Instagram, website, a couple of things, uh, came up with a challenge she's calling the Major Challenge. Uh, it's only going to be 22 days because it's going through the majors, and each day there is a question to answer. The question is not answered by a tarot card, though. Uh, a tarot card basically asks the question. So the first day is the fool, and the questions and prompts she has made are related to the aspects of this card. So today for the fool, what the prompt is, is to do something today that scares you. Um, and so I did. Um, I have a legal matter that I need assistance on, and um, I needed to call an attorney. Um, this is not something that's easy for me to do. I don't like making phone calls anyway. I'm an introvert. I am. I have anxiety. I have social anxiety. I really don't like making phone calls. It, it can sometimes just give me anxiety thinking about making a phone call. Um, so I tend to put off doing that. And if places have a way to contact them through their you know, web page, that's what I'm going to do. Um, or like a chat or something like that, or an email. Um, but I have found that most attorneys, when you do like a contact us form, it's really not as good as just calling them. So, I did it. I called the attorney today. Um, did my little phone consultation, and we'll see how things go. Um, also, places like attorneys like intimidate me too that's another reason why i don't like calling them so i'm working on it uh this challenge is already helping me improve so that's pretty awesome uh the next thing i did today is just a daily draw and i decided today to just draw from one of my decks i drew from the witch's oracle uh, and what i drew was the owl so what the owl symbolizes, there's a plane flying over, you're probably going to be able to hear that. What the owl symbolizes is wisdom and intuition and using that to see things that are hidden to you. Um, so interesting card to get for the day. Um, I want to read to you the incantation. This particular oracle deck, they've created an incantation for every card and I find them very interesting. 
So the one for the owl is, Spirit guides and teachers, please let me see the hidden world that now surrounds me. I need to see clearly both inside and out. I need your assistance. Of that, there's no doubt. So there's that one. The last thing I did is I started um, two days ago doing daily journaling based on the cards. So there's 78 cards in the deck. It's going to take 78 days to do this. Um, I got these journaling prompts from the Tarot Lady, which is the tarotlady.com. If you sign up for her email, uh, like newsletter subscription thing, you get a free ebook that goes over every single card in the tarot, which was really awesome to read. But in addition to that, there's a journaling prompt for every card. So what I decided to do was take my Gothic Tarot deck, which I have right here, and every day I will draw a card randomly. Um, once I've used that card, I move it to the bottom, um, behind the little white book. That way it's separated. That way I don't draw that card again. So today, the card I drew for that is the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is about choices, decisions, generally between two options. Um, usually a tough decision, too. So the journal prompt for this card was, when have you felt completely torn between two options and what emotions did that situation evoke? Now, I'm not sharing my answers in this challenge because most of these questions are, well, it's not really a challenge. I'm not sharing my answers in this though because um, most of them are very personal and private. But it's um, very interesting to do um, if you want to do that. Sign up um, on the tarotlady.com and get your ebook, and that way you have all the journal prompts. So that is it for today. Um, we'll see how this goes with me making the videos, and I will see you next time.